Okay, guys, we've talked about the blood going through the heart. Now let's talk a little about perfusion um, and shock and how it kind of goes through the body. So I'm going to use a fire truck and a working scene of a structure fire to kind of explain this, see if this kind of makes sense to you guys. So right here, we have our truck. You guys are familiar, I am sure. And right here behind the cab, we have our pump panel. We have our discharges. We have our master gauge intake. And our master gauge for pressure. Under our gauges, over here we got our throttle. And over here we have that big, wonderful steamer connection. And hopefully we have a ladder. Not that that has anything to do with shock or the pump, but it's a fire truck, so you gotta have a ladder. And it wouldn't be a fire truck without some red lights on top. Awesome. So, if, like we said earlier, the heart is nothing but a pump, just like a fire truck. Discharges will show up on scene. And we have a working house fire. First in truck, arrives on scene. Heroes jump out of the back. They pull off the hose. Engineer. Sets the pump to pressure. So pressure is coming through the hose. This would be the same as an artery. So the pressure side or the attack line is just like an artery. So we're fighting fire, we're doing well, progress not so much, so we pull off another line. And we start fighting fire over here. Again, another artery attack line, pressure. Well, it doesn't take long and the engineer starts realizing he's got more water going out than he does coming in because right now he doesn't have any coming in. So what does he do? He comes over and hopefully the second in truck does his job like he's supposed to and he finds you one of these cool little fire plugs on the side of the road. And what does he do? He takes that fire hose and he hooks it up from the discharge of the steamer connection to the steamer and start sending you volume or the same as a vein. You remember from the last video we talked about arteries take blood away from the heart just like a discharge, an artery or an attack line. Veins are just like the volume side or your intake. So as the water comes into the pump, into the first stage, it's like coming to the arteries. It goes into the second stage to discharge. That's like the ventricles, and it discharges it out. It's all the heart does, exactly like a fire truck. Attack lines go out. Intake lines come in. Arteries go out. Veins come in. What happens when we have too much water going out? Water out. Too much water out the pump cavitates. If we have a body that bleeds out, too much going out, nothing coming in, the patient goes into that equals cavitation, this equals shock. Well guys, you already know, if we got too much water going out, how do we fix it? We find a hydrant, we tag a hydrant, we get more water coming in than we got going out. If the body's leaking out, how do we fix it? Well, first thing we have to do is stop the leak. You stop the leak first, then you start, we don't, but paramedics show up and start IVs. 
So a hydrant's nothing like an IV to the heart. An intake line is nothing but an IV line to the heart to get more volume in to keep pressure up. Now, kind of interesting. Engineers, what's the first thing you do when you notice that pressure starts to drop on your discharge lines? When they pull that second line, all right, he opens it up, what happens to your RPMs? They drop and your pressure goes down. So what's the first thing you do? You throttle up your truck. What does the body do when it starts losing water or losing volume, blood? It speeds up the heart rate, same thing. Heart rate goes up, builds more pressure in the pump to keep the organs or the body alive. Tack lines come off, pressure drops, you throttle up. If you keep throttling up though, you will cavitate. If you keep leaking out, the heart rate keeps going up, the heart will cavitate. We block the holes, we put more volume in. We throttle up, we put more volume in. Really guys, exact same thing. Fire truck, body, works the same.